how did we determine the plank length and that it's the absolute smallest length considering that our understanding of quantum mechanics is far from perfect how can we be so sure about it this is a very excellent question a fundamental question so okay i'll i it's better that i show you i share a screenshot with you which would make more sense one second here we have this uh, let me remove this question for a minute so the question is how do we how did we determine the plank length as the smallest length so we have four fundamental i'm sorry not this one the next one here we are okay so we have four fundamental constants of nature four fundamental physical constants first one is the speed of light in vacuum which is this one here 300000 meters per second or whatever it is here then you have the plank constant of the reduced plank constant h cross equals h upon 2 pi which has this value here then you have the gravi so the speed of light in vacuum is the universal speed limit in the universe the plank constant is what is the constant that relates the energy of a photon with its frequency or wavelength then you have the gravitational constant which has this value which essentially is a is a measure of the strength of the gravitational interaction and then you have the boltzmann constant over here which you can see which essentially relates the average kinetic energy or of the particles in a gas with the thermodynamic temperature of that gas so these are the four fundamental physical constants and by combining these constant in constants in a variety of in a variety of ways we can come up with units which are called the planck units which are the planck length the planck mass the planck time planck energy and the planck temperature so the so the planck length is the square root of h cross g upon c cubed and if you calculate that it gives you the dimension of of meters it's it's a length and it is of the order of 10 raised to minus 35 meters so that is how it has been calculated it is the smallest length that, that we can calculate so let's try and imagine what <laughs> what the planck length actually feels like right so if if an atom if a hydrogen atom was the size of the earth then the planck length would be smaller than an atom it would be maybe smaller than even an electron right so that's how small the planck length is so like i said we have these four fundamental constants of nature these ones here the four top you know, uh, these four ones here that define these four constants of nature that define the properties of space time they define the fundamental properties of the universe and the nature that we live in so the planck length is currently the best currently known minimum length in the universe okay it is and it is the smallest length at which gravity the force of gravity can have any effect and in loop quantum gravity it is the scale the minimum scale or the only scale at which space time itself is quantized and in string theory it is the scale of strings so it is so basically the significance is that in quantum mechanics according to the laws of quantum mechanics it is impossible to determine the position of a particle to a precision smaller than the planck length that's another example of the uh, significance of the planck length basically in physics in known physics a length smaller than the planck length is essentially meaningless it is unphysical so the planck length essentially is the fundamental limit of the resolution of the universe the universe is, the universe is pixelated at the planck length so that is the significance that is how we have derived the planck length and that is how we know that it is the as of today with the no, laws of physics physics that we know today it is the smallest length that is possible in the in the known universe okay so it is possible that in the future we may actually be able to uh, understand the world better the universe better and we may find something smaller than the planck length it is certainly possible so here's the question right it's certainly possible if you can reconcile gravity and quantum mechanics then we may be perhaps able to find something smaller than that but as of today this is the smallest resolution at which the universe makes any sense 